This is Asit Sharma with Motley Fool. Reuters recently reported that Boeing will disperse some of the design of its new 777X aircraft uh, to the following five design centers, Charleston, South Carolina, Huntington, Alabama, Long Beach, California, Philadelphia, and St. Louis, with some additional contribution coming from Boeing's Moscow Design Center. Why is the company fanning out the design of this aircraft? Well, for Boeing to disperse the design of this wide-bodied, long-hauled, next-generation aircraft is a win-win-win. The first win is it's a powerful negotiating chip. It's recently come to light that Everett uh, Washington is on the cusp of winning final assembly of the 777X with the manufacture of the giant wings of this aircraft potentially to take place someplace nearby. Uh, and for Boeing to put out that not all of the design would occur in Washington incentivized Washington State and its union labor force to show Boeing that it could produce this plane cost effectively. It looks like the result of these negotiations will end up with a contract for uh, Washington State and cost savings for Boeing. The second win is that when you disperse your design, uh, you ultimately improve the quality of your product. This is something that Ford has been doing for years. Ford has engineering uh, and production centers dispersed around the globe, and it benefits from the ideas that come back to Detroit from these centers. So ultimately, in the long run, Boeing's ideation and its innovation, its engineering, will improve by creating these centers, each with its own unique strength. The third win for Boeing is that despite the near fiasco of the subcontracting, the initial manufacturer, of the Dreamliner, management never lost the taste for manufacturing more cheaply uh, over the long term. And if you look at the 777X, this is a production window of anywhere from 20 to 30 years. So management hopes that over the long term, it can move some of the manufacturing to lower uh, labor and production cost stakes. Uh, in this business, design and engineering precede manufacturing. So you can think of this as the beginning of a, a long, long ramp. In the last century, Boeing learned from its 737 and 747 series that production costs are continually being optimized, and you can even optimize uh, in decade-long increments. So whether it takes 5 or 10 or 20 years, we can safely assume that this dispersal of design will eventually result in dispersal of manufacturing. Uh, this not only helps Boeing to compete with its rival Airbus in the wide-bodied, long-haul segment against planes uh, such as the A350, more importantly, what it does for investors is demonstrate how committed Boeing is to running its company profitably over the long term. Thanks for watching.